Hello, this time, I will make a water post-process effect so that your screen is meandering with a water color. First, create a material and open it. Next, set the materials domain to post-process. While holding down T on the keyboard, press the left mouse button to create a texture sample node, and then set the water normal texture provided by start content. Then create a text chord node. While holding down M on the keyboard, press the left mouse button to create a multiply node, and holding down S to create a parameter node. Set the name and value of the parameter node. Multiply the text chord node and the parameter node with each other so that you can adjust the UV of the texture. Next, create a panner node that can move the texture and connect the nodes as shown in the video. Next, create two parameter nodes and set the names and values of the parameter nodes. And use the append node to make XY coordinates. Connect the append node to the panner node so that the direction of the panner can be moved as much as the coordinate value. Next, create a component mask node and extract the red and green channels from the texture sample node. Next, as shown in the video, you can adjust the texture's intensity. Power the texture values with the power and parameter nodes. Next, create a text chord node and press the left mouse button while holding down keyboard to create an add node. Then, add the moving texture and the text chord node. Create a scene texture node and set the scene texture ID to post process input 0, and set UV of post process by connecting with add node. Next, create two component mask nodes. One of the nodes sets only the R channel to make the background a solid color, and the other sets the R, G, B channels to make the background original colors. After setup, connect a scene texture node to each node. Next, create a static switch parameter node for flow control and give it a name. And connect the component mask nodes to the static switch parameter node as shown in the video. Now, if you connect the static switch parameter node to the emissive color and check the material, you can see that when the switch is true, it has a solid color, and when it is false, it has the same background as usual. Next, let's add some color to the solid background. Create a constant 3-vector node and change it to parameter. Set the name and color of the constant 3-vector node. Then multiply the component mask node and the constant 3-vector node together to add the base color. When finished, save and return to the content browser. Next, find the character blueprint, open it, and add the post process in add component. Go to post process rendering feature and add post process material array. Click on asset reference on the array you added. Go back to the content browser and create a material instance and set the material instance in the array. After setting, you go back to level. Post process has been applied. Now use the material instance to adjust the value so that the screen looks like it is submerged in water and waving.